Hello everyone. Welcome to Tutorials Point. Now in this video, we will be discussing about importance of phospholipids. So we know the structure and different types of phospholipids. But how are these phospholipids important biologically for living organisms? In this video, we shall be discussing the same. So the learning objectives will be to learn about the biological importance of the phospholipids in living organisms. Now, we discussed that phospholipids form a lipid bilayer. Why this bilayer is formed? Because of the amphipathic nature of the phospholipids. So phospholipids arrange themselves in bilayer arrangement because of the amphipathic nature, which means there is a hydrophilic head in it and there is a hydrophobic tail in it. Tail is made up of fatty acids and the head is made up of phosphate group and a nitrogenous base. So the head and the tail form a missile like a structure. The head is facing towards the water, so it is water loving and the tail is present in the inside. So if we extend it, it looks somewhat like this. This is the structure of a cell membrane also. Therefore, this lipid bilayer's arrangement of phospholipid forms the structural basis for all the cellular biomembranes. So that is the reason the lipids are important component of cell bilayer and therefore it is also known as membrane lipid sometimes. So phospholipids, especially lecithin which is phosphatidylcholine is a very important constituent of lipid bilayer or all the cell membranes. Also the phospholipid lecithin plays an important role in metabolism of fat inside the liver. We shall be discussing about it in upcoming slides. Lecithin also acts as an important component of acetylcholine. Now acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter. So when a synapse is formed or when a nerve impulse is conducted, there is a synapse is formed. So in that synapse, the neurotransmitter or the chemical which is released is a phospholipid lecithin or acetylcholine. Now also one type of phospholipid that is a sphingomyelin forms the component of myelin sheath which covers the nerve fibers and insulate them. So protection of the nerve fibers happens by means of a phospholipid which is sphingomyelin. Next some phospholipids also act as lung surfactants. Now what do you mean by lung surfactants? So the surface tension of the lungs or the alveoli is reduced so that gas exchange is improved. This is also done by phospholipids. Also some phospholipids are a part of second messengers. We have discussed somewhat uh, some part of second messengers during the nucleotide functions. So these second messengers apart from the first messengers present inside the cell they transfer the message or transfer a cellular function message for a cellular function and they are also phospholipid in nature. Now next these phospholipids help in emulsification of fat. What do you mean by emulsification of fat? We shall be discussing it. So emulsification means breaking down of large fat globules into small, small fat globules. We know that the fats are hydrophobic in nature, right? So they cannot dissolve in the aqueous medium of the digestive system, right? So there should be a means by which they can be broken down and dissolved in the, or rather if not dissolved, broken down into small, small parts so that they can be absorbed easily. Thus, some phospholipids help in emulsification of fat. The lipids are hydrophobic, so they are poorly soluble in digestive tract and therefore it is very difficult to digest them. We got to have a means by which they can be easily digested. So phospholipids are the means. We know that the liver secrete bile juice. Now phospholipid is very important component of bile juice apart from the bile salts. So what happens is the big fat globules are emulsified or broken down into small globules. They get covered by the phospholipids and the bile salts. Thus there is an enzyme with digest lipids which is called lipase. This is water soluble enzyme. So it becomes easier for this enzyme to act on fat droplets when they are broken down. 
So emulsification, what does it do? It increases the surface area, breaks down into smaller smaller parts and thus coating of the phospholipids occurs, surface area is increased and lipids can easily act on the fat and digest them. After the digestion what is left? Triacyl glycerols are the big fat droplets. They are broken down into emulsified fat droplets which contain monoglycerides and fatty acids. Now they remain associated with bile salts and phospholipids and now they have a name which is called micelles. Now micelles are the small fat droplets coated with phospholipids and it becomes easy for the cells of the small intestine, the enterocytes to absorb them directly. So micelles are necessary because they transport the poorly soluble monoglycerides and fatty acids to the enterocytes and directly absorbed or digested by the cells. Thus, to summarize, we can say that phospholipids are biologically very important because phospholipids, especially lecithin, forms the chemical constituents of almost all cellular biomembranes. They are also part of neurotransmitters. They also form myelin sheath and they help majorly in emulsification of fat so that fat can be easily digested and absorbed by the body. So this was all about biological importance of phospholipids. Now we are left with very important lipid which is the derived lipid which we shall be discussing in the next video. Till then, thank you very much. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.